We start the show with some breaking news coming in. IPL chairman Rajiv Shukla has congratulated BCCI's anti-corruption unit for unearthing the bookie nexus in Kanpur. Remember, this is the very first reaction of IPL chairman on this IPL betting saga. Take a listen. Now, Rajiv Shukla's reaction comes after India today accessed the latest details in the IPL 10 betting ring being investigated by UP police and the BCCI's anti-corruption unit. The match on May 10th between the Delhi and the Gujarat teams held in Kanpur is under the scanner. Sources tell India today that a former domestic under-19 player, Nayan Shah, may be heading the betting ring which has seen three people being arrested. Police sources also tell India today that Nayan hired an employee of the Green Park Stadium in Kanpur to water the pitch and change its nature. He would then pass this information to Bookie is charging rupees 1.5 lakh for the same information. Now, UP police is also probing whether Kingpin Nayan Shah was in touch with two players of the Gujarat team. Sources tell India today that Shah was not only staying in the same hotel as the players, he was also shifted to the same floor where the team was staying. Police will examine the CCTV footage and try to ascertain whether this bookie got in touch with the players. The Jaipur and Ajmer police too have attempted to nab the associates of the bookies and arrested uh, the bookies which were arrested in Kanpur. Meanwhile, Punjab team mentor Virinder Sehwag has said that the onus is squarely on the players to protect themselves and the game from betting and fixing. I think you can't stop all these things. That, that's player responsibility whom he is meeting. So, if my mind will do it, then I can get anything from anyone. If my mind is clean, then I can keep this game too. So, how much security is going to be able to do anything if the player wants to do anything. So, this is the responsibility of the player's own self. That no one can take me to me. If someone tells me something about me and one thing proves me, then I would say, when I played at that time, I would say, 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 uh, late night, uh, we got uh, an input, of course, from the UP police, from the Kanpur district, that uh, they have actually unearthed a, 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 a gang where these people are involved in gambling activities, uh, could be betting also. I mean, uh, that is still to be verified and clarified. We are still on the job. We are also trying to find out the whereabouts of uh, these people. Joining me live now is my colleague Shiv Poojan Jha from Kanpur with all the latest details. Shiv, it's not just limited to Kanpur. The probe has now started in Jaipur, Ajmer and Rajkot. It's a nationwide probe. What can you tell us? Yes, apparently from the mobile details, the police have managed to get in the names of approximately 12 bookies spread across four states in, the, in India. And now eight separate teams have been constituted by the Kanpur police and raids are likely in the days to come at various other places. A team has been sent to Mumbai, a team already uh, has uh, left for Surat and Rajkot. Mm -hmm. Another team is camping uh, in Rajasthan. We are expecting some vital leads to come because in the raids which were conducted at the residence of a big uh, bookie by the name of Bunty uh, Khandelwal that has yielded much results to the police. Apparently 25 cell phones have been recovered and the police is, mm. they are trying to get in more details. Uh, it appears more or less that the catch which was made by the Kanpur police is just the tip of the iceberg and mm. possibly Nayan was just a cog in the wheel because he was being handled by n number of handlers, n number of bookies and when I talked to the SSP of Kanpur just a short while ago he very categorically said that he is now sending out a lookout notice for uh, Bunty Khandelwal because right. Bunty Khandelwal managed to escape the clutches of the police. The police could not nab him when he went to when the raids were conducted in Ajmer. So on the one hand, lookout notice. On the other hand, the CCTV right. footage being analysed. And on the other, the police trying to ascertain the identity of the two players hmm. uh, who uh, uh, Nayan is mentioning to one of his handlers. Right, uh, Shiv Pujan, thanks for all those details. Let's quickly listen in to what uh, former Australian captain Michael Clark had to say. He also called for the strictest action against any player involved in uh, spot fixing or match fixing. Listen. Yeah, look, I, I agree with Vuru. I, I, I think I've, I've made it very clear. I've always uh, had a very firm stance on, on this sort of thing through my career and it's no different now that um, the game comes first. If you're going to disrespect the game in, in any shape or form, then there's no, there's, no, uh, there's no room for you in the game of cricket. My consulting editor, Borea Majumdar, also joins us live. Uh, Borea Shiv Poojan just told us that the police is investigating whether the bookies were in touch with two players from the Gujarat team. What are your sources from the Gujarat team telling you? Are any players under the scanner? What are your sources from the BCCI telling you? 
<coughs> you know, I have spoken to the BCCI CEO, I have spoken to the head of the anti-corruption unit, Neeraj Kumar, I have spoken to the BCCI media cell, practically everybody involved in the BCCI and they have categorically said no player is involved. And I repeat this, no player is involved. I spoke to Neeraj Kumar yesterday. I spoke to Neeraj Kumar today. I spoke to uh, you know, him about half an hour, 45 minutes back. And he kept saying, at this point in time, no player involved. If there was any player, he would have been the first person to know. I've spoken to everybody within the team, Gujarat uh, sources, manager, media people. And they say no Gujarat player has been summoned or is under the radar. As far as I'm concerned, there will be bookies. Whether or not they have been able to access the players is important. Mm. If they have, then this is a bigger story. Then there is a problem. But as far as bookies are concerned, when there is so much money involved, you cannot, you know, you cannot just say there will be no bookies. And here, 4.5 lakhs, etc., is rubbish. 4.5 lakhs cannot be even, you know, it's pittance money. Mm. This is obviously the tip of the iceberg, as uh, Shiv Pujan said. But whether it's bookies or whether it's also players will determine the depth of the story. All right, Borya, thanks for all those details. Uh, let's quickly turn our attention to some on-field action now.